Well, I'm going to do another feeding video tonight of my 13 baby box trivers. They were born in September of 2017. It's uh, February 27, 2018. I'm going to put them in here with uh, some cut up koi. And they always know what to expect. I'm going to put a few uh, mealworms in here tonight, too. Sometimes they like to get a few mealworms. Shake that a little bit. And then I'll give them some oyster shell. Uh-oh. <laughs> These guys need to get in on the food. Yep. Get them out of there. Into here and I'll just do a video and feed these little guys some cut up koi that uh, I pulled from my koi pond last fall and uh, I hope you enjoy this little feeding video. Somebody wants to get a mealworm there. <laughs> oh yeah. Couldn't resist a little wiggling mealworm. Yeah, I keep these uh, guys. Oh, they love the food that's in another turtle's mouth more than the stuff that they can just pick up without a fight. Mm, closure. Yeah, I just fed these guys last night. Baby box turtles want to grow quick. They uh, or just grow up big. And so they really go to town. They like a variety of food. Some of them have just absolutely beautiful shells. This one in particular does. Well, they all do. Look at that. These they're so inaccurate with their biting, it seems like it's just sort of humorous how many times a turtle that's been eat, eating, feeding itself for five months, how many times they can actually miss when they try to bite. They use those sharp little toenails of theirs to push against the food when they have it in their very sharp little beaks and they tear off little pieces and swallow it that way. I've had uh, box turtles. Uh, I rehomed a few adults and uh, about uh, 10 or 11 years ago and they, uh, one of the females, I called Ornetta, she started laying uh, fertile eggs the uh, very first year that I had her, and uh, I uh, didn't have any luck incubating them. I uh, finally figured out a way to incubate the eggs uh, using slightly moistened peat moss uh, inside our house in the computer room. Oh, look at this guy. Some of them have the cutest little eyes. This eye looks so different than the others. And that shell pattern. So I, I've learned uh, how to incubate them successfully in indoors, um, almost too successfully. Here I am just having a lot of fun with these little baby turtles. Uh, I really enjoy having them there. This is like the cutest stage of their life when they're just little and I don't know. Sort of amazing little creatures. They're not native to Oregon where I live but they easily hibernate in the uh, winter. We've had a, a few days that were below zero outside and the adults uh, that uh, I've had for quite a few years now 
um, just hibernate very well outside. I have a uh, hibernation chamber that is uh, the lowest point of it is three feet below the surface of the ground so the soil and the uh, peat moss and leaf mixture that I have down there for them to hibernate in is uh, never freezes and I haven't lost a single uh, box turtle and uh, over all the years that I've hibernated them keep, keep, keeping box turtles oh, look at him take off keeping box turtles outside is uh, natural uh, and it's very healthy for them to have uh, the opportunity to hibernate every year it uh, sets the female turtles up so that uh, they are um, ready to uh, reproduce the next spring uh, they usually lay eggs the end of May or the beginning of June or all the way through June and uh, their uh, reproductive capacity of uh, my female uh, box turtles that I had last year that were about seven years old all uh, them all seven of them started laying eggs last year and uh, they uh, I gathered a total of 66 eggs out of my enclosure. It seems that if you watch carefully, you can see when the turtles uh, are getting ready to lay eggs. They, uh, my box turtles, uh, tend to uh, start digging a hole to lay their eggs. Um, about oh, just as the sun starts to set, um, they just they start digging and so every sundown I walk outside and last year anyway and I watched to see which turtles were getting ready to uh, lay eggs and uh, and then I let them lay their eggs overnight and then I would uh, in the morning I would try to remember exactly where they laid their eggs and I would uh, dig them up very carefully with a spoon. I've, I've done some videos showing how I did it, but uh, out of those 66 eggs, I think only 15 of them were fertile. All the others were from those, uh, I think most of them were from those new uh, females that were only seven years old, and uh, I believe that they did not lay fertile eggs uh, last year. I uh, have both long-toed uh, box turtles and uh, ornate box turtles. Um, I don't believe either uh, species that I have is uh, pure. Uh, I think that they're a hybrid uh, version uh, and for sure my babies could easily be part three-toed uh, box turtles and then uh, but uh, as you can tell from their shell patterns, they're mostly ornate box turtles. This one here has more of the uh, drab uh, pattern shell that is typical of a three-toed box turtle. I can't tell the sex on these small turtles yet, um, but uh, I don't even worry about it. It's fun to watch him eat. In about two more months I'll be putting these guys out into the, the outside enclosure. I'll have a little place sectioned off so that they uh, can get their fair share of the food and the uh, big box turtles and the Russian tortoise that lives out there. Uh, she doesn't uh, go after any of the meaty kind of foods. Mostly she just likes to eat the vegetables and uh, dandelion flowers and that sort of thing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about raising box turtles outside, I know a little bit about raising box turtles inside when they're young. Feel free to ask and I will try to answer any questions.